Okay, we're live. Hello, Keep It Scan. It is Monday, January 14th, 2019. This is the No One's Listening Show, episode 138. I am your host, Rafa, and uh, we are here in a very special place at Lenny's house. Thank you for hosting us, Lenny, <laughs> and thank the Wevers for putting up with us. It's comfy out in here, right? <laughs> yes, it's very comfy sure. compared to our normal digs. Uh, to my left, as always, is Ray Mysterio Griff. Hey, everybody. And, hey, everybody. And to his left is Lenny. Hey, guys. Welcome. And in between, there's a couple other people who might chime in after their their glasses are a little emptier. <laughs> okay, let's start how we always start, weekend talk. We had a very fun weekend celebrating Bobby and Laura, Bobby Haney and Laura Barreto's wedding on Saturday. And uh, and then we also, there was some other things, but let me tell you a little story about this wedding, that Griff was with me at this wedding. I'm excited to hear about this. Okay, so the wedding was at the W Hotel in South Beach. It started at 5, and it was good, really nice little uh, ceremony, really cute, like, outside thing, and nice. Then we party, we have dinner, all that stuff. And then the wedding was over at 11, technically. Okay. Okay. 11 p.m., they're like, they play New York, New York, and everybody has to get, like, out. get the fuck out of here. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so the plan was to go to a club called The Wall, which is inside the hotel. Okay. So we okay. get there. It's like 1130, and there's nobody in there. The whole place is empty. Right. And we pack in there, and like 10 minutes in, I'm already anxious to get the hell out of there i i didn't want to go in the first place i'm not like a club guy right so we start talking and it's like okay where are we gonna take this are we gonna go to a somebody's room or something there was a friend of ours who got a room somehow he, he magically got a two a, a room yeah, with he got two, like a crazy suite two bedrooms oh, and a nice. living room and we were all gonna party there on the penthouse and he had called it quit he had already fallen asleep so Oh that God. guy, like, it was, that didn't happen. <laughs> so wait, I was, wait, wait, let's go back. Who is this guy who gets his two bedroom suite and goes to sleep at 11? <laughs> let's just call this guy out. What a loser. This guy <laughs> is Cal. I don't know what happened to him. I called him a bunch of times. He didn't pick up. And so then they were talking, oh, we'll go back to the bride's room. And oh, oh. yeah, and she was not having that, but oh everybody was kind of excited. So I told some of the crew there, I told them, guys, I'm going to go do a liquor run so that whenever we figure this out, we're all ready to go and I have all the stuff ready, you know? And at the W, all the drinks were like 20 bucks oh, yeah. a Each. pop. It was yeah, yeah. killer. It's, it hurts. It's yeah. vacation mode there. Yeah. yeah. It was killer. It worked so, to keep his game pricing. I walk outside. I go across the street to a Walgreens. It's right across the street. And I pick up... At First, I look up liquor stores. They're all closing in like five minutes because it's about to be... 12 and i can't right. get to one fast enough so i'm thinking okay i'll just go get this beer and wine or something some champagne or something and i'll take it up and we'll figure it out from there i get into the walgreens i get my beer i go up to the the counter and she says i'm sorry we the machine won't let us sell drinks after midnight oh my god is this a new thing in miami beach what I, is this? I guess they have a cut off for the things i bet it's so people don't drink in the streets or whatever wow. so i'm like oh no what do i do so Drove back to keep his game. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so I think to myself, look, these guys don't have a place yet. Let me figure this out. I go across the street to a bar called Free Spirits. Uh, it's this little dive. And I just start having some beers there. And I'm there in full tux, like all nice <laughs> in this Wait, janky oh, place, you know? With this brand new haircut, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Looking sharp. Oh, and you don't know. I had it all combed oh, and like what? nice. Yeah. I'm there. Everybody's like, what the hell are you doing here? I'm like, no, I got this wedding. I got to buy the booze. So I have two beers there. I'm chatting with people. And then I finally decide, okay, now it's time to actually do this. I get a phone call. We're going to this girl's house, to Carol's house. Come over. I'm like, okay, now it's my time to shine. I'm going to figure this out. So I get a car. and An Uber? Yeah. Okay. And some, the, I tell the guy, look, drive down Washington. I'm going to find one of these mini marts that right. is going to sell me booze after the cutoff. Awesome. I see one. I'm like, stop the car right here. Okay. I get out. I get in there. I'm like, will you sell me booze? The guy's like, talk to that guy over there. Ooh. He, I talked to him. He's like, he has to get it for you. They take off the crowbar, this bar what? that they have across the thing. They get me all the beers that I can get. I get to the thing, to the counter. I pull out my wallet, and I had left my card at no, the bar. No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and you don't even know. So this is like, 
<laughs> there was a lot of time in between all this stuff and a lot of runaround, and I'm just totally defeated. I look at the dude. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I just walked up here and made you guys do this whole thing, and I didn't even get you guys. Uh, what's it? I didn't even get you guys. Uh, I don't even have my card here to pay oh you guys. And I'm like, so sorry. You got to put it back. All this shit. Oh my god. They're like, I hate this guy. <laughs> They didn't like you. They said a little, be, be careful. You might have a little like bad luck in a couple of days. So then I, sh- I sh- no, the guy was, su- was super was forgiving. Thank God. And oh, I was could. like, oh, sorry, man. And so then I get out of there. I get a car and I go to the party and I have to open the, you know, open the door. I'm like, Here I am. I got nothing. And I've been away for like two hours. Oh, I've been away. It's like two in the morning already. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. And uh, so, but it was fine because there was actually a bunch of booze at this girl's house. So it was totally, totally perfect. And, you know, that went on till like six in the morning. Great times. Six in the morning with it, no booze? No, well, some booze. No, no. There was a good oh, amount okay. already. Yeah. Okay. There was like some wine and some beers and okay. some other stuff. So that I was good. I just can't believe Miami Beach does that. That's so <clears throat> did that happen? Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I can understand it because they have that problem with people on the street, you know? So I, sh- I know, I'm, but that's a vacation spot. And like I told you, I went to that mini mart and they would have sold it to me. No problem. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I think it's awesome that you. You got some guy on Miami Beach to actually <laughs> to sell it. you. That's why I love Miami. <laughs> yeah, kudos to that guy, whoever yeah. you are. Yeah. But let's not get him in trouble. <laughs> so Griff was at this wedding, too. What, what happened to you, Griff? Um, so I got sick last Wednesday. Uh, so I've been congested. I've been sick all, all weekend. And then Saturday rolls by. And yeah, we, we get to the W. And me being the nice guy that I am, I was like, all right, guys, we'll, I'll get the first round of drinks. Well, each drink was 20 bucks. I was like, oh, like five of us. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, so I took care of the first one. I was like, all right, so who's going to get the next oh, round? And everybody started looking at each they other scattered. like, I guess I guess I will. So a friend of ours, uh, Ali Howdy, picked up the second round and like a pizza and some stuff. And then after that, nobody wanted to pick up the third round. Everybody was like looking we, around. We got to get out of here. Yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, but I ended up buying a bunch. So That was very nice. Um, we had a really good time. Bob and Laura's wedding was great. Aw. Uh, and yeah, when I was leaving after the club, because same thing, clubs aren't for me. And around 12 o'clock, I walk out and I see Rafa running up and down the street <laughs> in a tux looking for somewhere to buy beer. And I was I coming him, out of that Walgreens yeah. defeated. Oh, that's hilarious. And yeah. then I went home and that was my weekend. Yeah. Um, that was it? Something. And you were done for the whole rest done of the Done for weekend. the whole weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I want to hear, I know it was uh, Tom's birthday this weekend. And I saw you briefly. Like you were like... Like lightning bolt yeah. to Tom's party. I came to say like hi. Three seconds, and you shocked me because I thought you were like Manny's friends, <laughs> like son's friends, friend. I don't know. And I was because I cut my hair. You had the short hair. I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, you looked really young and cute, but um, <laughs> he was there for two seconds and he bolted. But Tom's party was great. I had it at the uh, beach park. It was from twelve to five. I had a hot dog guy, which is you know Tom Weber style, <laughs> even though it was a little more. Gourmet than his normal Seven Eleven hot dog. Yeah, I heard they had like, vegan dogs. Even they, well, y- they did, but um, <laughs> Tom didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> he had the other dogs, but it was really good. A lot of people showed up. The bar was fun. The drinks were flowing. At five o'clock, I was like a crazy person. I'm like, let's pick up before it gets dark. And then we went. Uh, we picked up everything was in the car. In fact, I took out everything from the cars this morning <laughs> because Sunday I was home all day in bed. Dying. I don't know what happened after so like. What happened after five o'clock? No, really. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> the, wheels fell off. The, the wheels fell off. So my cousin is sitting here with me, and she just <laughs> said the wheels fell off. I went to the yacht club, and I was like, you know what? Now it's my turn to have drinks because I really didn't drink that much at Tom's party. I was kind of keeping it together. Uh huh. And tequila took over. But but <laughs> did you guys move the whole party over there, or, or yeah, how did it lot, how to go? A lot of people went to the yacht club because I had that winter. Uh, festival for the little kids where they had the ice skating in the snow in the Weaver property. So I had to like go there and stuff, which I heard was great. I think I saw it from afar for two seconds, I vaguely remember. <laughs> but after that, we went to my favorite place on the key that stays open late. Wait, so wait, wait. What, <laughs> what time do you leave the Yacht Club? I don't... Re- oh, when, it, when it's finished, like 11. Oh, okay. Oh, you, oh, yes. oh wait, hold on. Someone's going to speak now. Jump in. Do you want to talk about your friends getting bounced from the Yacht Club? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Don't name names. So, no, I'm not going to say names. That's right. Uh, slip and fall and bounce. Again. Okay, stop. Okay, I just remember that. I forgot. So, I had um, Tom's friends, who it's like a, a work colleague, came to Tom's party. Okay. And uh, we invited him to the yacht club after. They stayed, they decided to get a room at the, at the Ritz because they live in Delray Beach. Uh-huh. And um, apparently, I found out the next day that he and his lady friend got kicked out. 
from the yacht club because she was on the parking lot, like rolling around the parking lot or something. I don't, I, I didn't, oh, man. Thank, thank God I didn't see it. And they went to Tom and Tom had to escort him out. And it was apparently a shit show. Did everybody have a tequila? I don't know. I think they had too much champagne. Because oh. he came in like at the end of the part. Like, came in he, hot. He showed up at the end of the party. With two things of vouv, and <laughs> there's none left. And you know, in a short period of time, I think both of them had all of the champagne because no one else had it anyway. So, what this yeah. same friend also it, during the birthday party, Tom's decided to uh, crash the kid party. Oh, that's right, for food. <laughs> yeah, there was a, yeah, he got there too late for the hot dogs. Yeah, he and got the there too late show. for the hot dogs, and so he went to the kid party that was next door, like the rainbow unicorn party. With piñatas and all kinds of stuff. And Jackie, will you be a lamb? <laughs> Thank you. She's, I'm cooking dinner here, so she's going to help me. <laughs> um, and they crashed the party, ate their food, and was watching the magic show, petting the bunny, everything. It was crazy. Anyway. This I, sounds great. I know, right? Since, you know, I'm going to bring this up. Since what? you were hungover yesterday, what's yes. your go-to hangover food? Oh, my God. Because I, I had, felt the same yesterday. Right. I had everything from... Um, a hamburger from the donut gallery with french fries with tons of salt Ooh. to sushi later at night. I mean, I all I did was eat all day, drink water, and have, uh, um, what is it called, ginger ale. I mean, it was I was hurt. So yesterday I woke up and I was like, man, I want to eat something that we don't have on the key anymore. What? Chinese food. I know. I miss I know. Chinese food. Me so too. whoever listens to this. Yeah. Bring a Chinese food restaurant over we here. Need we need Chinese. one. I left the key to go get one to we get need... Chinese food. Did you really? Yeah, and I have friends that also went to this wedding, and they live in Brickell, and they went all the way to Sir Pizza to get their pizza or something. <laughs> oh, how funny. So where'd you get the Chinese? Um, there's a little uh, restaurant on uh, Corway right before Brickell on 3rd Ave uh, called Confucio Express. <laughs> That sounds and it's right ne- very Chinese, Latino. It's, it's next to the farm stores. And the only reason oh why I, I go there were, I, is because a friend of mine opened it originally. And he was Colombian Chinese. Oh, how funny. Oh. So it's actually really good. And it wasn't that bad this time around. Do they, do they, what do you call it when you can order food and they deliver, for, like Uber Eats with the other one? Uh, Whatever it is. Anyway, do they do that? Do they do Uber uh, Eats? I, I'm sure they do. I didn't. I, I just. Because no one's driving off. The, I wasn't going. I wasn't. I was in my PJs all day. <laughs> Until this morning. So, like, I'm like, I'm like, honestly, I didn't even leave my house. So I had to go get my credit card at oh, this bar. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, train wreck. <laughs> so I go back to the beach, I get into the bar, and the bartender, the bartender's the same bartender, and she goes, You're the guy who was in the tux last night. Uh-huh. You're, like, You're like a real Cinderella over here. And then they, there was a bunch of regulars over there at like three o'clock already drinking. And I repeated this whole story that you guys just heard about what happened to me and all that stuff. And they were, everybody had a laugh. I got my card, and then I went up to North Beach and had a burger that... North Beach? Yeah, up in North Beach. Wow. Uh, because there's this good burger place, and I had this monster burger and shake Yummy. and everything and fries. And it just... That's when you were talking about hangover foods. It made you feel hit good. The, hit the spot, man. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, at some point, by the way, on that Saturday, I ended up at our favorite place, Tumbo's and Tumbao, whatever it is, until like, <laughs> I, don't even, I, I don't even know the time. It might be Closed four in, in the morning. I don't know. I really don't know what time it was. But I had a great time. I danced. I know we took over the music because they had someone there singing, and then we took over the music because you know, we wanted to dance and have fun. Beautiful. Yeah. You can do that there. Yes, yeah. we can. They gave us the iPad. <laughs> the iPad. Okay, well, that's your weekend, unless you guys have anything uh, else. No, nothing else. Let's no. go to the next segment. It's called, What Are You Listening To? I think we'll make it quick, because from what I understand, everybody here has, at least myself, and from what Lenny was saying before the show, kind of in passing listening to this week. So, Yeah. How about you, Griff? Do you have like a solid pick, or do you have a kind of, eh, I was kind of listening to this. Um, I mean, I always listen to a bunch of stuff, but um, I could pull one out there for you. <laughs> Uh, well, it's called uh, Groove Line by Heatwave. So uh, check so that out. What it's is it? 1970s funk and disco. Oh, cool. And it's really good. It's, it's like the song is like seven minutes long, like one of those good ones. Ooh. And where did you find this? Uh, the depths of YouTube. Gotcha. Um, I have been listening to this band. What's it, what year did you say? Cause mine's from 1979. Band's called Wipers. 
It's a punk band. The song's called Alien Boy. And it's off an album called Is This Real? It's an old album that I, I go back to a lot. And since I don't really have a anything new or anything thing, I just put it on an old album. And that's my pick for you guys. Old punk rock, really early. Alien Boy by Wipers. Leno? Um, well, since it was Todd's birthday, all I listened to was uh, Grateful Dead. And what stuck in my head the whole time was China Cat. So I'm going to be like Manarianda, who's, you know, <laughs> the China Cat, Grateful Dead. At least, right. it's, at least it's not Rolling Stone. Come on. <laughs> 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 We're ch- you know, changing it up a little bit. But that's my song, because that's all I listened to on Tom's birthday week. Did you guys manage to play Grateful Dead at Tumbo's? Uh, I don't think we played Grateful Dead at Tumbo's. I don't. Again, Tumbo's was a blur a little bit to me. So, <laughs> I, you know, and I had a great time, though. I know it was fun. So. All right. Well, that's what you're listening to this week. And now uh, let me remind you guys that it's uh, Monday, January 14th, 2019. This is No One's Listening Show, episode 138. We are here at the Weber Residence. Yes. Very, Yay. It's so nice to do a show like this instead of... Uh, In air condition. Yeah, there's instead like, of on a construction site. wine and Perrier's. <laughs> yeah. Next time I'll have food for you guys. I'll have a whole dinner for Thank you. Thank you so much. Comfy couches, <laughs> nice lighting, a crowd. Yeah, we do have a crowd today. This is nice. We do. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's go on to what's going on on the key. And you guys here in the audience, feel free to chime in. And anybody listening, give us any comments because we don't have much uh, much to go on. Nothing has been going on on the key. The key has uh, been sleepy since like early December. Yeah. And so I'll, t- I'll tell you one little thing that happened. It's so boring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Welcome to Keep Escape. So you know the Oasis and how they still have the old shell of the old Oasis yes. sitting there? Yes, it's such an eyesore. Oh, well, there you go. So I was going to say, a bunch of uh, bunch of key residents keep saying that it's an eyesore. This it thing is. is an eyesore. Get it out of here. And they've been uh, complaining to yeah, the... Yeah, enough uh, is enough already. Tear that shit down. So <laughs> the guy, uh, Carlos, who owns the Oasis, he got an extension to keep it up till December 30th. And they were telling him, what are you going to do with this place? And he keeps saying that he's going to redo it. It's going to be the same thing, the little window and thing. But he just hasn't gotten to it and for reasons unknown. And he won't say why. But it's, it, the walls are just up. I guess he's keeping the shell. Well, yeah. the idea is to re, like build it out again. Oh, okay. His Interesting. Idea. He doesn't want to knock it down, I think, because of that. Because it has history. And because of that idea. But I don't think he wants to spend the money right now because the Oasis oh. is probably not um, doing very yeah, well. Yeah, well, yeah. Is it on? Do you want to make a comment? No. No? Yeah, okay. they... they so- I don't know if they sold it. The guy who bought it. No, he did, he hasn't he sold hasn't it, sold yet, it yet. But it is for sale. It is okay. for sale. Yeah. So that's why he's probably kind of like, I don't want to do anything with this, you know. So he he got a, he reapplied for an extension on December 11th, and that'll be likely approved on February 13th. So he bought himself a bunch of time. Um. Oh, he has to do February 13th. He has on February 13th. They're going to re give him an extension of keeping it up and not wow. demolishing it. Almost okay. certainly. So it's going to be there. Well, yeah, if you thought- think it's an eyesore, I'm pretty sure he would like to expand it, but nobody's going to the Oasis. So, you know, maybe there's no money to do that. Oh, He's God. a friend of the show. I yeah. know. And I like him a lot, but, you know, it needs to, I, I love him a lot. Let's start going to Oasis then. I, no, I think Do they that, like have happy hour or something that we can go there? It, like, they close early now. They close early. I okay, think, what, like well, that's an issue four, for me. They don't even make it till 8 anymore. <laughs> Yeah. No, they don't. They they close like at six well, or maybe, something. Maybe we can have a little baby party to to like I don't know, like help them out because were you, were you big on Oasis before it burned down? Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> before it burned down, I was very big on Oasis. I mean, I grew up on the key. It's a staple. Yeah, I love it there. Tom, every morning we get his coffee. I don't think he's gotten coffee there since they switched it up. Of course, it's not the same. It's not the same. Carlos not, said he lost seventy five percent of his business. It's because, because it's of the not window. the same vibe. The vibe is not the same. It's and and. It's because it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it used to be packed. And yeah. Now it's... It's... So we need, we need to, we need to, <laughs> hey, we have someone over here just said they'll drill a coconut <laughs> for you if you find one, <laughs> which is hilarious. Anyway, but um, yeah, so maybe we should start doing something. 
that we can like promote it or something to so we can go because I love it and I want the old oasis and I want it to succeed and I want it to be great. I think he needs to make the initial investment on the I, on the I old agree. place and, and that's where the money will come back. Yes, exactly. He'll make it up on the, the other people side. Will come back. I used to go for not not just coffee in the morning. I would go for beers in the afternoon too. and empanadas yeah. and a little patelito and a, you know all your little things. Here we, we, we used to go a bunch in the afternoon because it was the, the beers were cheap and you could, you know you could hang out there. It was comfortable. And there was in the in the late afternoon. There was it was, it was a good happy hour because nobody's it, there. It just had a out. good feeling. Yeah. It had a good vibe, a good feeling. It was you know a little shit showish, but because it's like, but that's a hole in the wall. That's what you like yeah, about it. Exactly. You know what I mean? New isn't necessarily better. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he really, yeah, he really blew it by re I agree. by thinking that he had to make a new building. Then the new building, I mean, I guess in like twenty years it'll have some character. But right now, he's like, yeah. he almost have like it a second is. floor though. Like everything. That he, his initial vision got like shattered. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what it, had was. A second, it was gonna have a second floor. Yeah, yeah. and like a terrace and all yeah, this stuff. Gonna, but it's gonna be nice. Who wanted that? Nobody. We yeah. wanted that little we window. Just, we want a little it. shack. Yeah, exactly. A little shack to get your drinks and your cafecito and your and whatever. You just it's it, it's something warm about that. You know what I mean? And with, do the bikers still go there? The, the they do. Yeah. They still kind of go there because they don't know where else to go, and they're not gonna go to a Starbucks or whatever no, or Seven Eleven. I think they do go to Seven Eleven. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do, do. I mean, like, I'd rather go to Oasis than Seven Eleven. Yeah. People, let's yeah, be real. Course. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think most people are just having coffee at home now. I guess. I don't. I am having a coffee at home now. <laughs> You're right. Nespresso yeah. is killing the little mom the and pop. Last time coffee. I saw Angel at, at Oasis, he's like, "Where have you been?" No, I, like, I got an espresso machine. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, that's sad. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make it a point to get a coffee at Oasis at least twice this week. I'll be honest; it's not that bad if you go down to a little alleyway. It's still, right. That kind of has a good vibe, but you just don't want to be upstairs. And the way they they changed it with like, oh, now there's a line. You can't just yeah. order from whoever comes up to you or whatever. Yeah. Everything kind of formalized, and then there's that big column in the middle of the place. I know. <laughs> I know. The, the vibe. The vibe like, is no bueno. You, what did you guys? do yeah um anyway Uh, okay so that structure will be up for a long time because they're gonna get that extension so if you think it's an eyesore i guess don't look that in that direction (laughs) i'm gonna go get coffee now (laughs) (laughs) all right is there anything else going on in the key because the only thing else i got written down here what time is it we gotta gotta make more oh no that's after okay about the pizza and some other things happened there um i got chat chat talk (laughs) Chat chat. Which I feel horrible now because we, like, just talking about these stupid chat chats, um, for those that don't know, the chat chat talk is all those WhatsApp groups on the And there's hundreds. The I can't even keep up. Yeah. We talk about the stupid things that go on in those chats. But now we have become the stupid talk of the stupid talk. You know what I mean? It's, right. We are no longer kind of looking from the outside. Now we are hoping that things happen in these stupid chats so that we can so that yeah. we can comment on them. I'm okay? part of a lot of the chat chats. <laughs> part of all of them, I think. Like. I really am. I, I am. It's all in like the real estate one. I'm like, I'm not, honestly, I'm in every single one. And Rafa can't, in, can't get into this special one. Yeah, I kept trying. I keep trying and I cannot get in you there. You know what? I think you're banned. <laughs> they don't want you there. <laughs> so uh, just today, well, one, oh, wait. Oh, well, I'll... I'll get to that next. Okay, just today, in the uh, Key Biscayne pedestrian chat, there was a little... Somebody posted a clip of the bikers. You guys know the bikers yeah. on Saturday Peloton. mornings? Yeah, that do that stuff. And they were just mad that the bikers were uh, were taking up a whole lane of traffic. Okay, okay yeah, we get it. We, they do it all the time. I right? hate it. It drives me crazy. And you know what? I haven't had to experience it in a long time because my... Daughter's not in high school anymore, and I don't have to drive her to school. But when I was driving her to school, they would take over not only the right lane, but they would also kind of infiltrate the left lane when you're trying to pass yes. to go. It's that's the worst part. Really annoying. There's always one or two outliers yeah. who, who love to weave into the other yeah. lane, and so the cars can't go anywhere. Oh. They, they feel like they can't pass. And I would have major road rage. It's funny <laughs> you just said outliers, and I thought you were going to say assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was this, the, the chat blew up on Saturday, I think it was, because somebody did that. Yeah. And when they they, they posted a video, and everybody's like, oh, I hate the bikers, and you know how those conversations it, go. Everybody right. hates the bikers. So then the chat turns into, oh, but you know, this is like the causeway, and it's not Key Biscayne, and this is about Key Biscayne pedestrian safety. And so you shouldn't be talking about this in this chat. And so then that turns into a little brouhaha. And then right. 
then, then it was like okay, it, the jurisdiction is like this and the Miami Dade County and yeah. the Miami, da, 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 and like I didn't know we had like three different police <laughs> things that are happening here. That I never knew, which is kind of did you know that? Yes, yeah. of course. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I thought it was just like Key Biscayne Village of Key Biscayne and then Miami Dade County. No, that's City of Miami and Miami Dade County. I, it, I Virginia can't. Key is City of Miami. Uh, Crandon Park is Miami Dade County. It's and, well, Miami Dade can do the whole all the way through the key and everything. Right. It's just it's a lot. Anyway, they got into the the, the technicalities of whose whose place is right. whose place, right? And when they did that, some people were like, "Oh, well, you shouldn't be talking about this because it's not the key." And then somebody said, "Well, we should start a chat just for the people who want to talk about the key." Right. And so- we can have this one be all traffic. <laughs> All the way to the toll, right. and then we make a special one just for traffic in the key. Yes. And uh, Theo, bless his heart, I think he did it more like just he was fed up with everybody, and he was right. like, great idea, I'm going to do it. And right. he started it, and so then he renames the one chat Miami chat, and right. then the other one is called Key Biscayne chat, and then there's like a little exodus to the other chat. Right. So I guess ha- what? I'm involved with all those chats. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious, and I can't keep up, honestly. Yeah, so that's that, too many chats. <laughs> when I saw that, I, I really thought Theo was going to say, "I'm not going to make a new chat." This no, is ridiculous. of course, <laughs> that's what I but thought But then too. he did it, and I was like, "Okay." Right. He's, I think he's just like, "I'm tired of everybody." Right. Whatever, I'll just do it. And so now there is another chat, yes. uh, 102 chats <laughs> yes. for the key. Uh, God bless us. <laughs> it's really good. But I need a whole day to just hang out and look at all the chats. <laughs> yeah. it's. I mean, it's only good when it's funny. It, yeah. all, all the other times, it's just like, whatever. Well, no, there's some... On, wait, there's some serious stuff that's actually good, too. You of can't course. be whatever. Sometimes you learn about yes, stuff. and you learn, but a lot of the times, it's whatever. <laughs> Which brings up this point that last week, we were talking about um, how Chief Press was going to have a town hall meeting to oh, talk yeah. about new developments in traffic. Did you go? What, you remember during the election that... Uh, traffic was big. Oh, right. what are we going to do about these cars hitting our kids? Blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Right. And so everybody was real pissed off. And so Chief Press last week held a town hall to tell everybody what he thinks or what, you know, to get a discussion going about what is a good uh, solution to all this stuff. And then it was going to be presented to the council and the council would vote on, hey, we're going to do things this way or that way. Did I go? No, of course I didn't go. I didn't um, go either. Did you go, Griff? <laughs> no. No, no, I don't go to those things. <laughs> I re- I, when I go to those things, I realize I really don't have a voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did Manny go? No. No, I don't Anna, think you had no. either. No, because we've, t- we've beat this topic to death, so... Um, if anybody out there in Radio Land did go and you want to tell us exactly what uh, what happened, well, I'd love to hear about it. But from what I understand, they talked about you know the crosswalks and what they're going to do, and maybe some ideas of getting rid of some of the crosswalks and and, and things like that. Huh? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so well, they, that that got brought up in, in this chat, and so um, they're going to take that to the council, whatever it is, and get some stuff done. And I was bitching last week about how the council for you know we elected them on this traffic crap and they still haven't done anything really solid to I mean they put up that little sign at the entrance to the key that says we're going to bust your ass Yeah if yeah you, I if saw you, that the little one that they put <laughs> there temporarily if you do something bad like, watch out Yeah and and to their credit they have been like busting truck drivers for pulling them over on the wrong, I saw you know, that. for double and, parking on Crandon and stuff and like that And teenagers driving golf carts yeah, and things like that. So, right. Oh, really? Yeah, so be careful, teenagers <laughs> driving golf carts. With no license. With no license or a, not even a, 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 what do you call it? Not even a restricted. No. Yeah, be careful because they are doing that. Oh. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so. So that's where what, that's what we are on traffic stats. Nothing's going, nothing's happening really. And, uh, and but they they did have a nice little talk about it and patted everybody everybody patted each other on the back and said we're doing a good job excellent yes good <laughs> yes <laughs> okay you want to laugh Rafa sure check that out what does that oh, say no, on your shoe oh I don't know what it says but I, I already noticed that we you... share a very similar a very similar taste. Did you see this? Oh, hilarious! The, sh- the shorts and the uh, and the Vans high tops. So I've been yeah. sitting here for like ten minutes, and we had um, we have a guest here, 
and I was looking at her shoe, <laughs> and we were talking about teenagers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not my daughter, by the way, because we are on the Weber Very household, funny. and it's not my daughter, but we have other people here. For the listeners, yeah. <laughs> what, is it, what does it say on the shoe? It says, it's, I think it says my beep fell off. There you go. And it starts with a D. Oh. <laughs> it's awesome. I love, I love the teenagers. Her Richard fell off. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. I love having a little crowd. It's kind of fun. Right? Yeah. yeah. The peanut gallery? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Feel free to chime in, guys. Just grab a mic if you want to yeah. uh, say whatever. But, because we're but you're sh- going to know, but they're going to know who you are, so watch it. Just we're sh- kidding. <laughs> we're short on talk. No, we're not. Here. So let's talk about, okay, so remember last week we had that really, that talk about the um, the kids that got to the park and they got okay, their so, Rolex stolen. Okay, so these kids yeah. from the Key who went to Miami Beach got, uh, no, to 11 is right. what we deduced, right? They right. went to Club 11. Right. They met some girls there. Um, they thought they were in. The girls took them back to the Key Biscayne Beach Park, threw some kind of roofie in their drink, and then stole their $20,000 watches. Right. And then the news <laughs> came out just like yesterday. This woman had about like four Rolexes in her JJ. <laughs> but I don't think it was the same girl. <laughs> are you sure? Not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't like, the same girl. What are the odds of that happening? Because <laughs> I know, because I, I read the story. I read the story <laughs> okay. and... It was a different. Uh, okay, it was a good. Different I just want to clear that up. <laughs> got, I thought maybe you can find his Rolex again. I just I thought maybe it'd be lucky enough to find it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. This is crazy town. Right. <laughs> it is. I wonder if they did get their watches back. We never heard back. Um, I'll find out. <laughs> I'll find In out. In the chat chats. <laughs> yes. In the chat chat. Chat chat. <laughs> I love it. Okay. What else uh, is going there on? is one little last thing about chat chats, and I've mentioned this before, but uh, two days ago or, so, or maybe yesterday, somebody reposted this uh, this fake news thing that the oh, yeah. about like people getting abducted or something. Yeah, no, um, it's like don't don't approach crying little kids. Oh yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> and it's a t- it's a thing that's been going around for like two or three years now. It says. Oh, watch out for like a crying little kid because then you get them and then what? what, what? I don't know. They rob you, whatever. And yeah. then someone on the chat goes, "That's there's fake. no such such thing as a sheriff in Miami Dade County." Yeah, because it said <laughs> it came from the sheriff's department of Miami Dade County, and so all this stuff. If you ever want to know how fake news gets spread, it's exactly like that. Like just everything that we've seen in the past like three or four years, it's all people spreading those kind of things and people just believe it. And there's like a certain bias for things that you see compared to things that you don't see, I suppose. But so you see this in your chat. And even if somebody says it's not true in your little brain, your dumb little brain, uh, (laughs) (laughs) you, you, you just start thinking, Oh, but there is like a crime thing going on, you know? Right, right, right. But it's no, but it's, it's totally crap that people are forwarding and it just gets in your mind because you don't have stats that say the, uh, the opposite. I actually, we did our Miami show last week. Um, and I did have a stat that, that crime and every type of crime in Miami is down except for, uh, sexual violence. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the only one that's on the up, and it's probably because it's being reported more. But, like, right. homicides and violent crime, robberies, all that stuff is on the down. Right. But you wouldn't know it from uh, from the stuff from that spreads in these chats. Exactly. Well, and being, you know what? And people, like, see something like that. Like, like there was right after the incident that happened to the boys here in um, Boys Men 22 at the beach here, there was another thing about a, a girl and blah, 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 which I don't know if that was real, but it was sent from a friend from friend of mine i sent it to you guys and oh, i don't yeah, even know the, if that was real yes, or not the, so I, I questioned that i'm like hmm, and i didn't do my research i probably should have they said that they put pcp in their drink yeah which is that that's I'm like kinda, pcp that doesn't, doesn't, doesn't sound right type yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't that sound doesn't right sound pcp right. Gets you is an upper yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. see all, so, all these things are yeah that, and the one yeah that one that you that you sent which was from another chat it right. said exactly that it's like beware this happened to a friend for sure. It was yes. like my friend. 100% but that's true. Bullshit. The yeah, person exactly. that sent it was not the person who ha- whose friend it happened to. So, you know? so being a mom of an 18 year old, like all these women like freak out and they, then they throw it to everyone and it's like rapid fire like, and it's not real. Of course. I get so it. anyway, but 
the lesson learned is always be careful no matter what you do. But it, yeah, don't get your news from memes forwarded yes. in a freaking <laughs> chat <laughs> or Facebook. Okay, or Facebook. For all people hate on the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or whatever, whatever. I'm telling you that they at least try to research the stuff. That's right. Okay. Don't get your damn news from a dumb meme. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. The New York Post is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I get my horoscope from there. <laughs> What's your sign, Lenny? A Scorpio. Oh. What's yours? Oh, I'm what? A, what? What the fuck was that? I don't know. I don't I even know what, like Scorp- I don't know what Scorpio means. So. We're great people. <laughs> okay. I know a lot of Scorpios. The best. And we're awesome. How about you? What's your sign? What you, me, I'm a Cancer. Oh, of course. Of course, right? And you, Griff? I'm an Aries. Oh, well, happy good lucky. <laughs> a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah, a little yeah. tight and happy go lucky. <laughs> just kidding. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just making that up. No clue. You only read yours, right? <laughs> yes, I'm the best. <laughs> just kidding. Oh my gosh. Uh, all, right. all right. What else? What else is on the agenda? Oh, should we talk about what's happening? What do you mean? What's happening? You know, in the future of keep his game. <laughs> oh, you want to talk calendar already? I don't no. know. Calendar's the last thing. Okay, but so we do we have doing? a little bit here. It's Monday, January 14th, 2019. Snow is listening to show episode 138 for all you listeners. If you're in the stream right now, checking it out, give us a comment if you want us to talk about something. Uh, subscribe on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. Look for uh, no one's listening show. Okay. What is going on? Openings and closings. Last week, we talked about Pomodori Pizza, which is at... The Key Colony Plaza, right in front of Key Colony, next to Origins, next to Starbucks, a new pizza place. I have yet to try it. I went after after the show last week. I was very happy with it. Oh, yeah? Slices? Yes. Slices on the key. Big fat slices. Reasonable? It's got the key prices, but not. Mm. it's not killer. But it was, you know. How bad? It's going to cost you a slice is probably like five or six bucks. I and, thought you were going to say like three fifty. And where is this? No, thing? Where I is wish. This? No, I think it's it's more than that. I don't remember the exact price, but I remember thinking for two slices that I got, which is like half a pizza. Uh, it's it's right next to Origins. Um, it okay. was it was more expensive than I wanted it to be, I guess. But now, that's when you say the key. slices, is it like Cazola slice? Yeah, or? yeah, that's what oh, I mean. Okay. Like big it's New big York, slice. big New York slice. But it's actually a Brazilian place. Oh, okay. And, and can so, you put anything on it? Or yes, you can ask them to add more ingredients. Okay. And when we were there, the only the only pizzas that were already made were like a pepperoni, a sausage, and a cheese. Right. But you can tell them, yeah, you know, slap whatever okay. you got there on there, and it'll be fine. Okay. They don't have uh, beer and wine yet, which. Was a fatal flop, but you can just yeah. walk into Origins and ask them for a beer, which is what we well, did. But they need to get their their beer and wine yeah, license. I it's mean, like five hundred bucks, and they, they need to do that. Yeah, but um, you can, if you guys are listening, please do that. <laughs> Pro tip: go next door to Origins; they will sell you a beer, no problem. And you know what? I wonder if like we can get it and bring the slice to our Dumbao. What time yeah, do they oh, close? Yeah, you probably could. What time do they close? That, do you know? I do not know. Oh, okay. They should stay open late. But night. it's it's nice that you I have... probably could have used a pizza <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> FYI. It would have been great. It was great to get a, a, a just a slice, you know, on the key. It's right. It's like always nice. Right, right, right. Okay. The other thing that uh that closed and something else opened was uh Smoke Grill, which is at the Key Biscayne Arcade, right Ooh. next door to Origins and this pizza place. Long time ago. Smoke Grill that we went to to try it out not even a year ago. And now it's closed, right? And it's been replaced with a kind of what I'll call a healthy place, but it's not. I mean, it's called Delirio Fresh Co. And it is a it is a kind of a wraps, salads, like little fresh bowls type of place, smoothies. I've all already kind of heard good things. Really, I have like a, a little group of friends that everyone we haven't done it in a while, but we go to lunch and do like organic lunch day. And we, we meet, all our friends meet somewhere. And we always pick a place here in Miami, wherever. And so one of the girls went to this and she says, we have to go there. It's amazing. All right. That's Let's what go. I heard. I heard it was really, really, really good. So this place is, uh, it's probably consistent because they have a Doral, an airport, and a upcoming Midtown location. And so uh, they got, it's, it's not their first rodeo, let's put it that way. And and yeah, that fr- that kind of fresh living type of thing is probably going to be a hit on the key. We'll see. That place, I feel like the actual location right. is kind of tough. Right. It is. It is tough because parking is a 
bear there. Yeah. It stinks. But it has that nice patio, but I, I don't feel like people really care that it has it or not. It used to have, a, it used to be a health food place. It used 100% to, well, natural. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that was there for a couple of years. Yeah, and it, I actually, know that, I don't know. But I liked it. I used really? to go to Tom and get like juices for my daughter. I mean, that was a long time ago, but yeah, I liked it. I knew that steak place. It wasn't, wasn't going to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? And it was very pricey. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I, let's see. I'm gonna have to try it. The so it's place. gone. It's called Delirio Fresh Co. And it is now open at the Key Biscayne Arcade. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> and for the pizza. The pizza, I'm super excited. They need to get beer and wine though, for sure. Yeah, they do. But like I said, just walk next door to Origins and get yourself a beer. Don't hesitate if that's of what course. you really want, a beer and but a they, pizza. They need to do it because that, I'm sure it's not cheap to rent there. No, yeah, and exactly. you're not gonna go five dollar slices. <laughs> it's gonna, I don't know how you can support that. And they've had the place for like a, almost a year, like no. at least like oh six God. or seven months that they didn't that they weren't open. They wow. just had it, and yeah, they're finally open. I don't know if they deliver, but if they do, I would like it would be between Sir Pizza and that place for and me. And they sell whole pies too. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, All I'm right. sure they deliver. They're a pizza place. They got to deliver. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Good luck, guys. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and next up, we got the calendar here. Oh, what? You guys have any calendar? I have I don't one have thing. I have a couple things. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> well, not well, this weekend um, is the, the whatever the thing is, for, at, the, at the Bill Bags. <laughs> January 19th. Yeah. Is that what you're going to say? Well, that's the only thing okay, I have Okay, no, I have other here. stuff, though. Okay, 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 January 19th, which is uh, today's Monday, the 14th. Saturday. Uh, Saturday. At Bill Bags is the Bill Bags Gala, 50th anniversary of the naming of the park. And uh, they're going to have a big party, drinks, live music. Uh, everybody's going to be there, all the who's who's. It's going to be epic, and yeah. too bad I'm out of town. Oh. I'm dropping off my daughter in college, yeah. no, which I, stinks. But if I was here, I'd be there for sure. So the rest of the crew will probably be there. You guys go check it out. The tickets are 75 bucks now, I think, unless you already got one. I was going to ask you, they've gone up again. Again? More than 75 well, No. Didn't they start off like at 50 or 60 what Well, if you uh, did early bird, right. whatever, it was less money. Now it's more money. I mean, that's how that happens. But it's, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be... They have spam um, all-stars there. Food, drink. It's going to be awesome. Full moon. It's going to be beautiful. Honestly. Yep. So do your little research on that. I don't have a link for you or where to go, but if uh, you go to like, uh, if you look up Bill Bags on Facebook or on oh yeah, it's there for sure on where on the Instagrams or whatever, you'll find it and you'll f- and you can see how to get there and how it's going to be a, a little rager. That's January nineteenth. What else do you have? Uh, well, I guess I can talk about it Monday because it's the following week. <laughs> well, whatever. No, we'll talk about it now because we got nothing. <laughs> All right, we have we have the um, cardboard races. Oh. At the Yacht Club. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Manny I remember Manny doing it. It's yeah. fun. We're, that's coming up. So stay tuned. I'll give you all the details later, but get ready for cardboard races. Is this like the second year that they've done it? Oh, no, this is the fourth year. Has Manny won all of them? No, I don't think Manny has even... But did he win one, maybe? I have no idea. But anyway, it's fun. The kids love it. We're going to have a um, a pig roast competition, like a, a you know lechong thing. Uh-huh. So I would love to see you guys do a team. Okay. What's, the, what's the date? Uh, I'll tell you on Monday. <laughs> Is it I don't in have January? It it's in January. It's not this weekend. It's the following weekend. Okay. It's funny yes. you mentioned Cajachina, where I mentioned Cajachina. I was at Home Depot today, and I walked in, and I realized they now sell Cajachinas. Cajachinas are awesome. Of course. No, that didn't happen before. <laughs> you would have to go directly through them, and now yeah. they have it at Home That's Depot. Awesome. That's great. And... Uh, Happy for them. Can we ride a cajachina in this cardboard race, or does it not count? Um, you can't ride a cajachina, but you can be part of the competition, which is the pig roast that we're having, and hang out and have some beers with us and hang out. All right. Yeah, I would love. Can you get? Can you be a team? Can you commit right now, please? Is, you, is it in February? Putting, when it when is no, this? No, it's now. It's not this weekend. It's the following weekend. Oh, I probably can't. I'm gonna oh, be out of town. why? What you're going to be? I leave on the twenty third. Oh, Where that are you sounds going? like right up then. So it's the 19th and seven uh, days. I don't have it on my, I'm sorry. I don't have it on it's my thing be right the now. the 20... Next six, Saturday. 26. Not this Saturday, the yeah. following Saturday. The 26th. Are you around? Rafa? I am around, yeah. Yeah, get, get some, get some so young get people some, to help out. So wait, wait, what are the rules? Because every time I see the kids in the cardboard things, it's kids, isn't it? Okay, the cardboard part is kids, but there's also a part during the, um, the race is... Adults like you guys, which now I think, Rafa, I think I can consider you an adult. 
So um, I cut his do, hair, so I'm a spring chicken now. <laughs> you're, still, yeah, you're a spring chicken. I'm back to being but a spring you chicken. You can do the, the, the pig roast with a couple of friends. It's fun, actually. <laughs> we hang out. We drink a couple of beers. We're, you know, it's, a nice, it's a nice afternoon, and it's fun. Okay. I would um, love it. Let me tell you something what? that I saw the other day. Somebody sent me some of these guys who are big on boating and the yacht club and stuff were showing me this thing that they do up in Boston, of all places, or up there in Massachusetts or New England somewhere. Okay. Where they do a docking the boat competition. Do you know what I'm talking about? Did you what? see this video? I've been seeing this for a while now. So what you do is imagine at the Yacht Club, imagine um, right when you're pulling into the Yacht Club, like right. from the outside in your boat. Uh-huh. Okay. They have like a start line there. Okay. And then they reserve one slip. And you've got to dock it as fast as possible you got, and as best as possible. And you got to have all your ropes tied and everything Wow. as fast as possible. And so these guys come in full speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's people who know how to boat. Do, like... Flip the boat 180 because you got to dock backwards. Right. Flip wow. the boat. Well, you always have to dock back. Uh, anyway, flip the boat 180 and then bring it in, and it's you know it's a time trial. I think that would be wow. so. They're fun not regular boats, the, so they're like crab boats. With yeah, they're all crab boats. Motors. Yeah. And I think they all like they're all like 350. Griff, would, you, would you win that? Because they all sound amazing in the videos. <laughs> would you win that? Uh, absolutely not. Or no. Mackie <laughs> Pesh might. He's pretty good captain. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't that, know, you, that might be really scary. It might be a liability. You know what? <laughs> I mean, if they can do it up there, we can do it down here. They're more serious than we are up in north, you know, yeah, So course. with Much rules more. and stuff like that. So I'm sure somebody could pull it off. I would, if I were you, I would suggest that to the next Seabell. Be like, hey, I got this awesome plan for you. You're really going to shine if you do this. All right. I'll, I'll make sure I tell them. In fact, I'm meeting them on Wednesday and oh. having... Our pre-meeting before my my reign is over. I was going to ask you. So, how long does does your reign April. as Sea Bell April? Uh, it's the, over. Keep the Yacht Club last. April. It, it's never it's ending. Over. <laughs> no, it's over. It's no, but, over so, in April. So, what is it? Once you, like a yearly thing. One whole year. All right, yeah. and um, so how and do you we've feel? had a lot of good fun times. Yeah, how do you well, feel? It's not over yet. I know. She's but still it's... got like St. Patty's Day, Valentine's oh, Day, right. no Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we have some couple things. There's other things on the thing. We're even doing like a wing off on the Saturday before um, the Super Bowl. We're gonna have like a wings competition with like people mm-hmm. like doing wings. <laughs> so, so as a Seabell, why why do you take this responsibility? They make you. They kind of pressure you into it. Um, I drank tequila, <laughs> and I said yes. Not just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, because my friend is the Commodore, and I said yes to him. Okay, that's why it's gonna happen to you, Griff. Some, somebody's yes. gonna ask you to do something. I'm definitely there. gonna be the Seabell. Well, not Seabell, but oh, you're wait. gonna be the are you, you know, yet? merman no, or something. No, no, I'm not. Uh, just curious. Well, you're gonna have to. You need to get involved, though. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. make. I'm you telling get involved. you right now. And they're gonna be like new blood. They're gonna be looking for you. No, like you a, need to. You have to. Yeah. That's part of the whole thing about being a member there. Yeah. You got to get involved. So yeah, I'm, I'm applying for for membership. And, I'm so uh, I, feel, I feel bad for my wife. <laughs> no, no, Tom has to do stuff too all the time. Yep, get ready. They're gonna say that to you when you're at your little interview. They're gonna be like, "Oh, so you're uh, ready?" No, they will. So what do you want to join? Are you? They're are, gonna yeah. ask you. Are you ready to be the merman around here? <laughs> hey. Yeah, your your flick wants to be the merman before anybody. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe we can move the rib off to somebody's house. No, uh, that's happening in April. That's happening in April. We're doing it again. So stay tuned for that too. Do it at someone's house. It was so much better. Nah. It was so much better. So much better. We it's, lived it. We have too many people. I know, but it's just not as fun at the yacht club. When were you, which house were you at for that? At Gus's house. Oh, that was a thousand years ago, and it was so small. It's perfect. It was, and we've it had gets, before. We had gets, like swimming pool. I mean, it, we've had. If, yeah. we, if you see the, that's videos, why it was so good. There was no huge swimming pool, and it was just like it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. 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 What you don't want is that. Tickets for sale. I know. Hey. You're, there, you're there sitting down and some guy comes up to you, sir. Yacht Club. Ticket. Yacht no, Club I know, ribs. but it was a fundraiser. It turned into a fundraiser. The whole thing was for the Bob Kemper, who her, her friend who started it. We could ask for money. That's no problem. All right, well, so, we. I'm talking like yeah, it's well, my <laughs> event. It's not yours. It's definitely <laughs> that, not yours. Uh, Rafa, that's interesting. So that's something that maybe we should talk about. I, 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 know, I, I know it's I a like pain the, in the ass. I like the smaller venue. It was yeah. fun and intimate and crazy it just it's just a little crazier right it was definitely know? crazier and a little fun but um again it's all about fundraising Foundation, i get it so yeah. so we'll see no, we'll yeah. talk about spo- that. we got spoiled that first time like second time around that we did it like at someone's house we're like oh this is the best and yeah you, and yeah. you guys missed the real crazy yeah, fun yeah i can imagine we did yeah the good fun. old days <laughs> yep anyway whoever is on the committee over there who gets to decide these things that's my one tip 
uh, get rid of that. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to them. Get get it out of there. No, it is easier. I get it. It's easier to do it at the yacht club where they handle everything for you, you know. But it's just not the same. It's not the same. It lost all its uh, its charm. I agree. Okay. Well, unless Are you we guys want to get into, yeah, we're done, but we're done so early that I feel Are bad we? for the for the listeners. But oh, maybe, no, we're maybe they, we can keep talking. Maybe they talking like crap. it that we're so that we're so tight on uh, on getting through everything instead of being uh, slow and low. That's because Manny's on here doing his like <laughs> long, like great explanations on things. He has a way with words. That man. I have to admit, Manny's doing a really good job with Philibeck. Oh, I saw that today. Did you see that too? I saw that too. What? What did you see? Why? I missed because it. Because I'm on an email chain for a uh, Key Colony residents. Oh. No chat chats. Email right. chain. <laughs> Sounds like and, a chat uh, chat. So yeah, um, someone, an HOA director uh, or board. Uh, commented on Philibag and how much of a success it is and how nice it is and Aww. and uh, Manny's doing a really good job. So yeah, that's no, awesome. no, that they installed it at Key Colony and I saw this email. They are encouraging their residents to use it and then they sent pictures of their residents using the Philibag oh, at Key awesome. Colony and all that stuff. So it, it's forgot I guess all the it's, details. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> it's installed at Key Colony, not just that's at the great. beach park. That's great. Uh, and and for Tom's birthday, you know that if you, in lieu of gifts, I told people to donate to fill a bag. Oh, all we right. got a couple donations. Tom got a buttload of whiskey, but I, you know, we got some donations for fill a bag, well, which was you, good. Can you donate whiskey to fill a bag? I'm yeah, not sure. sure. <laughs> we could donate whiskey to fill a bag <laughs> for is, sure. Is Manny a whiskey drinker? He's not much of a whiskey no, drinker, is he? No, he's more of a well, what is it? Beer. What is beer? Yeah, and what is his cocktail of choice? I don't know. I think he likes like a, oh, he'll have like a, a tequila. I know I've seen oh, him have yeah. tequilas, yeah. Well, tequila's good. Yeah, every time. It's clean. Mm, it gives you that mm, well, little pick-me-up. Little yeah, pep. I had too much pick-me-up on Saturday <laughs> with tequila. <laughs> I caught up too fast and too short of a time. It was awful. Anyway, yep, I suffered yesterday. I paid the price, but I'm back. <laughs> having a glass of wine. I am. <laughs> Can I just... Uh, Go right off topic here, just to extend the time a little bit, because we've only done 45 minutes or so. It's okay. Something. It's okay. Yeah. So this is, has nothing to do with the key. That's because Griff just something. speaks way too much. For this too wedding, much. we got... Um, our hammered. T- <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got. We got hammered. <laughs> yes, we got hammered. I actually had a martini at the... At the cocktail, yeah, which I've like never James done before Bond. at a wedding, I went to the I went to the bar. I had seen somebody else do it, one of uh, Laura's cousins or something. He was walking around with a martini. I was like, "They're serving martinis, all right." And so I walk up to the bar and I ask for a martini. Beautiful, um, you know, great start to the night to to have something like that. Anyway, long story short, they had us as groomsmen, Griff and I, rent these tuxes from. An online tux rental. What? Yeah. And so they send you the tux. You try it on. If it doesn't fit, you can send it back. And then they send it to you again. Wow. Whatever. Works out. But it worked out? No. What didn't work out was (laughs) that it comes creased. Oh, shit. And they tell you, oh, yeah, if there's like a slight crease or whatever, just hang it up. It'll it'll be out of there by the time the thing. No, it was not out of there by the time. Our poor buddy Jimmy... He didn't get a chance to, because his tux was at his brother's house because he got it delivered there and he was out of town or some shit. Oh, my God. Um, he shows up to the wedding. Wrinkled. Wrinkled. Oh, my Me, God. Me, I'm spending, like, that time. Yeah. Okay, so I went to Tom's birthday party for 15 minutes. Right. The rest of that morning, I was ironing out oh, wrinkles out of man. this thing because I thought that it would, I had left it hanging or whatever. That and, it would, and, it would, it would, it would out. wrinkle out. Nah, man. Nah. It was, a, a, so... Suddenly Griff you, says his was unwrinkled. That's because he has a woman who probably it, opened it up. With all second. Due respect, but you can't be a rookie when it comes to these things. Was you it got, you I and mean, your wife who opened up the thing? Let's be real here, Griff. No, no. I opened it. I um, I realized that the shirt uh, didn't fit well. Like uh, the, I guess I gained like five pounds in the last <laughs> week. And I couldn't it's close the collar. It's Christmas five. So I ended up going to Austin Burke and getting a shirt. And then I, I got a white shirt, very similar. And then... Um, so I, I changed the pants, but long story short, I thought it was great, but I used the steamer, and I steamed everything Ooh. before I went out. Rafa, you have a, I have steam- a steamer. See, this is a thing, though. If I have you- a steamer. You should have come here. <laughs> when you rent a tux in town, You're getting they're not, in a box. They're what not going to give it to you All nice wrinkled, and pretty. you know? When yeah. you rent one in town, when you get it from the mail, it should have been the same thing. And it came in a, in a box that shouldn't have wrinkled, honestly, but I guess it just did. 
So anyway, so then you rookies. return, then you have to return it and everything. I yeah. will say that the quality of the shirt was nice. The style of the tux was nice. It was. Yeah, it was not. I didn't feel like you know. Sometimes you go to these rental places in Miami, and the tuxes have a style that looks like it's from mm, you yeah, know, it's yeah. like too big or like has shoulder pads or something. And or you're baby like, blue with ruffles. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> that would have been fun. Yeah. That would have white patent leather shoes. That would be yeah. really nice. I have no complaints uh, about it, huh? I would recommend it. Patent really? Leather. <laughs> I would recommend the 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 I would the too. I would recommend it. But I would really stress that everybody has enough time to return it yes. and say, hey. Yes. Because they do send it out. I was out of town when I got it. They send it out like 15 days before, and they say if something's wrong, send it back, and then we'll send it. We will have time before the wedding to send you whatever. If it has to be shorter or if it's wrinkled or whatever. But it sucks that I was out of town, so I only had like eight days, and there's just no time to send it back and get another one. Um, so, at, you know, you rent this thing, you pay like 130 bucks or whatever, and then it's got these wrinkles that you have to either take to a dry cleaner mm, or frantically get Call them out. Call your boy Griff that has a steamer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should have done. I, who I has a steamer? I would have never you thought. I would have. I, mean, awesome. I think when you get to an age, you, you got to yeah, buy up these things, you know? Uh, you know, you iron your own shirt. You get a steamer. It's, I know it's what to give you when you move up. into nice. your new place. How does the How do these steamers work? What do they look like? A little there's vacuum a, there's a few or something? Of them. There's a few. Of them. Yeah, I have you one can... that's like professional. Yeah. Oh, guess Ooh. what? I got a perfect gift for you when you move into your house. <laughs> exactly. That's a great ho- housewarming grown up gift for you. So I don't have to go to the dry cleaners ever again. That'd be well, like... no, you still have to clean no, you your stuff. Have... Yeah, <laughs> this is just like you this is like ironing without ironing. You shake it off on the balcony oh, a little bit. Oh man, air it out a little bit. Hey, did was there a best man who gave a speech? I thought you were the yeah. best man. Yes, Howdigi. Do you know Howdigi? Oh, yeah, of course. I thought it was Alejandro you guys. Howdigi. Ale Howdigi gave the speech, okay. and it was uh, right. short and sweet, and just hit all the points. And I love it. it. Yeah, it, was, right, it good. was very nice. So good, good, good. And I was, and he looked great. Right? If you guys know Howdigi, he's just better and better every time you see him. He's yeah. like a fine wine for a man. Uh, yeah, exactly. What? <laughs> he lives in Colorado now. Who knows what he's doing? Running, healthy, jumping, healthy living. Hiking. Leaving this town did him good. Yeah, healthy living. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. All right. So, what else? You know, by the by the way, Jackie's sitting to me on the right of me, and her birthday was last Tuesday. Oh wait, happy birthday, happy Jackie! Happy birthday, Jackie! Oh, and we went to uh, lunch at this Greek place. What was it called? Mandolin, which is awesome. Have you guys oh, ever nice. been? Nice, yeah. yeah. So good. They had an, they, they her and her friend. They were drinking wine and hanging out. And we had a really nice time. I was the designated driver, so I had like one glass of wine. And driving back, I just have to say the story because it's hilarious. And I'm driving, and this, and I'm driving her car, which is a little, I don't know, Lexus, but like the kind that's like the, you can almost plug in, but not the plug in car. So okay. it's a small little Lexus. Okay. Anyway, long story short, this car behind me was a giant SUV. What was it, Jackie? What kind of car was it? Range Rover. It was a Range Rover. And this guy with his little kid in the car in the front seat, I'm trying to make a turn to go left and cross the street and to get on the highway. He does, he honks at me and I can't go anywhere. I'm like, what is he honking at? And he passes me on my left. And then when I'm supposed to go, he goes. And I was like, what? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, my key rack came out of me. I was like, hold up, asshole. Anyway, so I went and I, and I cut him up. Just speaking of road rage, I cut him off and, and he was like this close to hitting me. It was what a, Asshole. I mean, I hate to say that, but what a jerk. And I, and I know he's not listening, but wow, you're an idiot. And the kid, I'm looking at him like, you have, and, and I'm like, you know, motioning to him like, you have your kid in the car? And I'm like, your kid, the poor thing. Like, I'm like, what is he doing? You're an asshole. Like, <laughs> like my window was still up saying it, but I was like motioning. So I, and the whole time he's giving me the Italian, like, like the F you. No. The, oh, yeah. This man was so anyway, so I put the, the evil kibosh on him. So something's gonna happen to him. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. But in, in the in the game of chicken, yeah. I won. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All <laughs> like, right. Anyway, just had to tell that story. Don't do that. It's so mean. No, it, the driving has gotten worse. It was mind. ridiculous. Like, really bad. Oh my god! And it, I was really? on fire. You think it's gotten I, worse? Oh, it's definitely getting uh, worse. I'm always just cruising, you know, so I don't even notice this, it. This guy was a jerk. I mean, honestly, and it's not like I was like in a little Toyota, you know, I was in a little Lexus, you yeah. know, <laughs> whatever. What a jerk. It was appalling. It was appalling. It was. It was. See, Jackie said it was appalling. It was appalling. It really was. Anyway, but I won in the game of chicken. I just want everyone to know. Lenny <laughs> one loser, zero. <laughs> That's. Boosh. Yes. Yes. Jackie, how old are you? 28, 29? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, is the answer to that. 
<laughs> All right. Griff, you got any little chats for us? Any, uh, think any about little it. No, I, slice I, of life I, uh, talk for us? Um, can I think? No, no, I got nothing. No, honestly, I really don't. I will tell you guys something. I am lucky enough to be able to see the ocean every day. And the past couple of days with this kind of uh, chill, no, I don't want to call it chilly, but this kind of cool weather. The ocean looks amazing. If you have a way to dip out of you or whatever you're doing and run over to the beach, it is so pristine and so clear and so just beautiful that get out there. I don't know if it'll be that way this weekend, but it is that way today and probably will be tomorrow. It's been beautiful Highly recommend it. We live in paradise. Enjoy. The best thing about this place is the geography for all the crap that we say. Like That's one thing that... That won't go away. The ocean will always be yeah. right two minutes away. And yeah. so make it a point to get out there. And the sunsets. Yeah. So on that note, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. Make sure to subscribe at uh, on iTunes and uh, you know wherever you get your podcasts and all that stuff. Uh, also... I want to thank Lenny for hosting us because this yes, has been thank you, so nice. You guys Super are welcome nice. to do this again. Oh, so, so much better. <laughs> we can do it. We can do it next week no, too. No, we're not going to do that because why? No one. Don't worry. By 2020, we will have my, 2020. my apartment ready, <laughs> and then we will have a similar cozy situation. But well, this my is daughter's so nice. out. The lighting and everything is just nice. You know? Hey, next show, my daughter will be gone. You're totally welcome to be here. And the wine flows like wine. It's yes. just nice. <laughs> yeah, really good. yeah Lenny, thank you very much. Of course. <laughs> okay, well, let me play you guys out with a little uh, jingle. Thank you to Paula Sanchez for this. Uh, uh, I give a shout out to Manny and Anna who couldn't be here today, but they will probably be here next week. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, somebody starts a fire or something that we can talk about because they're not. Uh, it'll be a, a similar story next week. Thanks again for listening, and that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. <laughs> Show.